Hello and welcome to Menu Monday. If you're new to the channel, my husband and I travel job to job and we travel around the country in our RV. I do get inspired when I watch other channels doing menus and recipes, but I have to say there are not many out there that cater to RVs or small kitchens. If you know of any channels, please let me know and put them in the comments below. So that's why I want to share my recipes and hope to inspire some other RVers out there or those with small kitchens. I list all my ingredients at the end of each day's video so that you can do a screenshot if it's easier for you on your cell phone or in the comments below I have the ingredients and everything for each recipe that I share. So let's get started. Today we're cooking a crock pot ham stew and the first thing we're doing is putting our cabbage into our slow cooker. I'm using my large slow cooker today. I think it holds six quarts. We're going to cut the cabbage up removing the core I'm going to top this with diced tomatoes of basil, oregano, and garlic. And we do not drain this. I'm going to change this to two cans next time I do this. And I will put that at the end in the ingredients. I felt it needed a little more. Also, we're going to add one can green beans, Italian cut. Again, we're not going to drain those. Now it costs to put the, cup, the ham in at this point, but that would be a whole ham and you're cutting it up into chunks. My ham was sliced, so I chose to put it in after everything else was cooked due to the fact that it was very small. So now we're going to add half cup butter, which is one stick. And after we put the butter in, we're going to salt and pepper to taste. Now, in addition to adding the ham at a later point, I also added two chicken breasts, which I cooked in the Instant Pot. So I had uh, chicken in addition to the ham. Everything turned out really good, and we'll definitely be making this again. Here are your ingredients. Tonight we're going to make a low carb crock pot pizza soup and the first thing we're going to do is cook our sausage. Then we're going to combine all the other ingredients that is the beef broth. Two cups marinara sauce. You want to find the low carb if that's what you're doing. One cup water. Eight ounces of cream cheese cubed. Four ounces 
mushrooms and some black olives. I'll have all the exact ingredients at the end of the video. Then some, you can do one cup mini pepperoni or you can do the chopped regular pepperoni which is what I choose to do. Sorry my heater just kicked on. And then we're going to add some Italian seasoning. We're going to cook this. You can either do high for two to three hours or low four to five hours, stirring occasionally. And then if you wish, you can top yours with mozzarella cheese once you put it in the bowl. I did omit the mozzarella. Delicious meal. We'll be doing that again. Tonight we're making taco tomatoes. In a large skillet of medium heat, we're going to heat up the oil and cook our onions. We're going to cook them until they're soft, about five minutes. Now we're going to add our ground beef and taco seasoning. We're going to cook this, breaking up the meat with a wooden spatula or spoon until no longer pink, approximately eight minutes. And then drain off the fat. Now for the tomatoes, you're going to flip them over stem side down and slice to make six wedges. And then be careful not to cut all the way through. We're going to divide the taco meat among the tomatoes, top with cheese, the lettuce that we previously cut up, sour cream before serving. It was so very good. We'll definitely be doing these again. Here are your ingredients. All right, tonight's recipe, we're going to heat the oven to 400 degrees and also put our chicken in the instant pot. We're going to put one cup of chicken broth in there and cook that for 20 minutes. While that's cooking, you want to thaw out your frozen broccoli. Once the chicken's cooked, pull it out, cut it into cubes, and put it in with the thawed broccoli in your dish. Now we're going to add our soup and our milk in the bowl and get that mixed. We're going to then add that to the casserole dish with the chicken and the broccoli. Our next step is to take one tablespoon of butter, melt it, and add two tablespoons of breadcrumbs into the mixture. I'm going to sprinkle that over our casserole.
Now I had some bacon left over that I needed to use up. I cook it once a week and leave it in the fridge and add it to breakfast and recipes as we go. So I did chop up some bacon for this. It's not listed in the ingredients so it's totally optional but it did make a nice topping. And then after we put the bacon in we're going to add the cheese and get this in the oven. I'm going to cook this for 20 minutes or until the chicken mixture is hot. I didn't keep an eye on mine. I think it probably would have cooked 15 minutes in the oven. This is the e Lagasi 360 power air fryer and it does cook a lot faster than other ovens. But it was good and we decided that we are definitely doing this dinner again. Here are your ingredients. Today Big Daddy and I decided to do two low carb pizzas that we had found recipes for online and compare the two to see which one we liked. This first one requires parchment paper which you spray with some oil and then just wipe it off or wipe off access with a paper towel. In a bowl we're going to combine the mozzarella cheese, some pizza seasoning, garlic salt, egg beaters, and parmesan cheese. And we're going to mix that well. And I will have all the ingredients amounts at the end of this video. All right, we're going to get this all combined. And then we're going to spread it on the parchment uh, paper. Now this pizza did not require any sauce. So after we get this spread out, you just place your toppings of choice on there. We use some ham, the diced ham that comes from the deli some pepperoni, and I just sprinkled the top with a little more parmesan. It called for mozzarella but I didn't have any left. I wanted to save it for the other pizza. Alright, we're going to cook this at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. And there's pizza number one and your ingredients. Okay, pizza number two. We're going to preheat our oven at 400 for this one. We're going to whisk four eggs and uh, about six ounces of cheese. where I use the rest of the mozzarella. Now this one uh, did not require me to spray the parchment paper so this one goes directly on there and then we just cut the edges off once we've got it set. We're going to put this in the oven for 15 minutes until the pizza crust turns golden.
Now this one we put pizza sauce on. I found one that only had four carps. That's the one we selected. I think it was a Kroger uh, brand. So we spread that on and some oregano and then you put whatever you want on the top. We used pepperoni, some ham, and I put olives on one side. Big Daddy doesn't like olives. And then you bake it for another five to ten minutes. Ours uh, usually takes six, and I didn't notice it, so I did get a little overcooked on this time. But it was still good. Just keep an eye on it. And here's pizza number two. Now Big Daddy saved one slice of his first pizza and so that he could compare the two together. So here we are with pizza number one on the left and pizza number two. I'm sorry, pizza number one on the right and pizza number two on the left. Here are the ingredients, pizza number two, and that's the one that won. We found the first one to be a little salty, and we like the crust of the second one. I hope you enjoyed this week's menu, and if you're new to the channel, again, I welcome you. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you, and for those viewers that are coming back, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed it, too. I'll be back soon with another video. Take care, y'all. Love you. Bye-bye.